Here, as you can see, we got two parts to specify the pattern and colors. So here I can specify the center segment. Uh, let me see. Actually, here is center segments, which is specified as custom. And the next one is center segment weight, in which you specify the thickness of the segments for an apply to observe the thicknesses from tab, from view tab. There in thin lines which displays all lines on the screen as a single width. Actually you have it in access toolbar. Here it is. So here as you can see the center segments are more thick. I mean thicker. I can maximize it. For example 8. Check this out. Thicker than before. Actually 8 is a kind of annotation ID. And if you want to modify the thickness from manage tab and then additional settings and after that just click on line weights to modify line weights so select it so as I said before grid is a kind of annotation so I open annotation line weights here and the ID was 8 which is 1.4 millimeters I modify it to 1.2 for example and then I apply check this out to minimize the thickness or not 0.1 check the results or 1.4 the default value so in this way you can modify the line weights again i select the grid i open the type so i set one for line weight segment weight and this part actually end segment weight i set eight for example for end segment weight check the result the end part of them are more thick thicker and there you can specify the color of segment segment uh, center segment colors so i click on it and here you can specify the color the color of center segments for example red okay and apply check this out look in this way and then you can specify the pattern of center segments i open the list and long dash loose dash overhead as if you remember at the beginning of my explanation, I told that grids are specified or displayed with the dotted lines. So we can control the line patterns from manage tab and then in additional setting and then in line patterns as you can see. In this way we can modify line patterns. So I open it and then the window of line pattern is opened. Then I click on new and then in the window of line pattern properties I specify a name for it. I, uh, I name it for example axis or center segment center segment axis lines. Axis is the grid actually. And then on the first line I set dash space and dot for the third one and then a space and then for the length of the dash 2.5 millimeters for the space 2.5 the dot does not need and 2.5 for a space so in this way we just made a line a line pattern okay and then I select one of the axes and then in center segment pattern I open the list and then I select the created one which is center segment axis lines check this out so this is the pattern which i have created but if you uh, feel that it is not proper i mean i mean you can modify the length from additional setting and line patterns you minimize or maximize the length so here i select center segment axis line then i modify the values for example five millimeters and for this space 3.5 and 3.5 in this way and then apply check this out you can specify whatever you want since this is your custom pattern so in this way you can control the patterns line patterns very well again i select one of them i open edit type the next part is end segment color in which we can specify the color of the end of end part of the grids for example you are specified green okay and apply look or for example blue you can select whatever you want in this way or even you can specify some special colors here in 
in Pantone color picker and they are called as Pantone colors for example here I specify red check this out in this way for example here 186 ok and then I add it and then ok and then here I open Pantone pick color picker let me see in for example in this range I pick 183 to just make them matched in this way like this as you can see so they are displayed more beautiful than before as you can see so I select one and again open edit type in this way so here we can control the end segment length for example here it is 25 or 30 apply in this way or 10 like this actually here is end segment patterns or 0 um, as you can see 0 is not allowed here please enter a positive value less than this value so 25 is reasonable for it or kind of standard value variable the other items are plan view symbol and one and plan view symbols and two and both of them are default as you can see so uh, let me close edit type as you remember from last videos, I told you that here in the grids, we got a checkbox in which we can check it or uncheck it. But if I want to uncheck all of them or check all of them, it takes a long time. So in such an occasion, we got a plan view symbols end. Actually, the one and two refers to the horizontal and vertical. Uh, sorry, apologize me for the mistake. Here you can choose to show the symbols in both sides or just on one side. For example, right now the symbols at up and left are displayed. And here I can check to show them in right and down. Or uncheck the another one. Or keep the both of them. So in this way we can control a symbol at the end point of a grid line in plan views and the next item is non plan view symbols default it specifies where symbols display and grid endpoints in view other than plan views such as elevations and sections i mean this setting on this settings only applies on the sections and elevations for example here as you can see the symbols of the grid lines are displayed here, for example, I can choose to hide them none, OK? Or I can choose to show the symbols on both sides. Or I can select just bottom, the bottom of the grid line, or just top. And usually top is the standard value and usually used in this way.